Breaking news, Nigerians. <laughs> there is fire on the mountain. As Nigerian youths on X, there is Shei Tinubu. Not to come close to Abuja or anywhere close to Abuja. Because if you come, you go collect with the water. Well, Nigerians, finally it's happening. Uh, a few days ago, Shei Tinubu tweeted on his official is a uh, handle, you know, trying to encourage Nigerian youths, telling them to calm down, that the president, you know, really understand this game, that things are hard now, but very soon everything will be solved, and Nigerians will enjoy the dividends of democracy, and uh, enjoy his father being Nigerian president. <laughs> Trust Nigerians, they finish up. They got a tell and say, you live luxurious life and your and your family, and um, you are telling Nigerians to be calm, to continue to endure poverty and hunger, even if I read out what they, because of community guidelines, uh, I would not want to read out, you know, the comments, because Nigerians were really, really, really very brutal. You understand? You saw unpleasant comments. People when they curse, people when they swear, and all that for them. So you see, um, I understand one thing for this life. Some persons who feel that they are opportune because all these things now opportune. You have an opportunity to you know to be where you are. You know, make say you get seven head. You get now one knows when the ordinary Nigeria still gets. Now you get you they wear wristwatch. What? Uh, millions of dollars on your ribs. Nigerians not fit. Majority of Nigerians cannot even eat three square meal because of the way your father have decided to rule the country just for your you people's own benefit. <laughs> because the other day they were talking about Orlando, how Orlando don't gain, don't make gain for this first subsidy, this thing. And you know, say, now President Bola met Tinubu, now he get him. You understand? They still expose him, Papa, say, get 17 oil well in Niger data. You know, I understand? So all these things, the first subsidy remover, he claimed they have removed and everything. And he's making money from this the, the subsidy, you understand, of a team. And now, you that does not even know what Nigerians are going through because you are not in their shoes, you will not tell, you won't, you, you won't understand. When you go stay like this, say you not get 1,000, you get people like that. Majority of parents in Nigeria today have withdrawn their children from school. And you know what that means? A child that is already in school can no longer go to school because the, the parents cannot uh, afford school fees. You know what that one means. That one a red flag. The child, if he does not have, you know, the fear of God in her or in his in his mind, with him, I meant to say, he or she will enter different different uh, criminal activities. You understand? Majority of our children today, they say now you have to pay. You will see 15 years old child, even the day secondary school, they say they don't depress. You will even see some parents, they hustle to buy laptop for a child. All these things because of failure, Nigeria has failed. You get Nigeria as a state has failed. That is just the gospel truth. Majority of Nigerian youths don't graduate seven years ago and all that. No job. People don't even resort to the drive keke, even with the keke now. Now, the fuel and everything, you go dry finish, you go make money, you go use all the money when you don't make for that day, you know, buy fuel. So, it's not easy. Instead of you telling Nigerians this, this, and that, you are just like, you are escalating the whole thing. Use that energy. Talk to your father. May they make life easy. Now, the the government and uh, uh, Dangote, don't they, they dance... Uh, they use Nigerians, you know, they play. That is what they are doing. They are playing with Nigerians. The other day, the, the mother, Remy Tunubu, don't, um, don't start to advertise clothes, you understand, for October 1st. 
He say unity fabric. He still going. She still going to make money from there because that as she be when she don't introduce now. Nigerian airlines they are going to buy and they are going. They are not going to buy it with uh, small money. They will pay heavily for that because now first lady now in the buyer and you know this kind of uh, eye service. Everybody want to get it because now first lady they sell them. Now your papa, your mama, your papa they do the one when they do. Your mama they want side, they do cloth, you don't launch cloth, a uh, unity fabric. When she herself understands that with the level of what is going on today in Nigeria, there is no unity anywhere. You get there is no unity. Make we tell ourselves the truth. Is it where you wear the cloth, unity go just you know appear like that and people go call they do things together? When she's talking about unity 2022, she made a statement that is that that is enough to even break this Nigeria into pieces. To today, that statement he made against the Igbos. To today, Remy Tinubu, Nigerian First Lady, have not apologized. And because of that statement, people don't they follow suit. They, they talk. So there is what they call tribal tension, tribal war in Nigeria already. You understand? So all these ones, when they bring clothes, they do unity fabric. It's just for formality. There is no love in Nigeria. Between outside Yoruba and the Igbos, everybody does scatter on their own. So wearing fabric, um, Nigerian unity uh, fabric, is not bringing unity to Nigerians. So the only thing that will bring unity to Nigerians is when they, they themselves, do the needful, you know, bring Nigerians together. This one, not be all this ones when then they do. Why I'm saying this because of what Nigerians are saying on X consigning what he said. So they don't tell and say enough is enough because you live, you know, uh, you live in luxury. You don't understand what waiting Nigerians they talk or waiting Nigerians they feel. You feel that life is just easy like that and you can just easily come out and tell Nigerians, calm down, Nigerian youths, calm down. I'm also a youth like you. Uh, the government is doing what they can. And I believe what they are doing is the best. Uh, everybody we enjoy with President Bola Metinobu policies, even if it's ash, I am telling you, you know, with time, everybody we enjoy the dividends of democracy. I don't know when they always talk about, you know, in future. Is it by the time when we say people don't buy finish, hunger don't kill everybody finish? Is there when we go enjoy the democracy? Uh, last year, the is it I'll be early this year. The wife said the next generation to come we enjoy, you know, the benefit of what the husband is doing right now, the husband policies. And the question when I ask they say, who is going to you know bring those generations? Because this generation have to be strong, they have to be uh, they have to feed well so that they will be able to, you know give birth to generations that will come. Who are those people that will bring the generations to come? Is it not this generation? Oh, I don't understand. I better make a drop out for you. The matter be say, Nigerian youth don't dare share it to the Say, make it not come close to Abuja or anywhere near Abuja. Say, because they don't, they keep on quiet too much. Nigerians, this is really, really, really very, very, you know, um, a difficult situation in Nigeria. Nigerians are not happy with President Bola Metinubu led federal government of Nigeria because of his harsh policies. But the bad part of it is that they not send you. So I'm going to drop out here. Kindly hit the comment section. Know what? Let's know how you see this matter. I bet she, uh, share this video. Make it go viral. So Nigerians can understand what is happening today in the Nigerian